Today we're going to install an MRP ramp control cartridge on my hardtail. The fork on my hardtail is a Fox 34 Performance Elite. I really love the plushness of this fork, especially over small bumps. There is a trade-off for all that plushness. When things get rough, I tend to use up all the travel. But the MRP ramp control gives you the ability to adjust the fork progression on the fly. This should help reduce the bottom outs. To do the installation, you'll need a 26mm unchamfered socket, a cassette tool, an 11mm socket, and a torque wrench. A regular socket wrench will work as long as you don't get carried away. Step 1. Remove the dust cap and unscrew the nut holding the dial knob in place. Use the 11mm socket for this. Step 2. Attach your shock pump and take note of the air pressure. This will give you a starting point for tuning later. Then take all the air out of the fork. Make sure to compress the fork several times to get all the air out. Step 3. Now unbolt the air spring assembly. Make sure you use an unchamfered socket. Regular sockets will have a slight taper on the inside that will not grip properly and could strip the top cap. Step 4. Prep the ramp control cartridge. Use the supplied grease and carefully put a bead of grease on the o-ring. Be careful not to get the grease on the threads. Step 5. Insert the ramp control cartridge into the fork and tighten to 24.8 newton meters or 220 inch pounds. If you don't have a torque wrench, be careful not to over tighten. Install the dial knob with the 11 millimeter socket. Make sure the knob turns freely but is not loose. You should feel a click every half turn. Step 6. Air up the fork. Air up the fork to your desired air pressure and set your sag. Now let's take it out for a spin. I took the bike out to the local bike park to test the settings. I played with the settings from wide open to maximum ramp up. You can certainly see a difference between the two extremes. Wide open, the fork felt flush and soaked up small bumps. When fully closed, the fork became really firm and was great on the small jumps I was hitting. It'll take some time to find the right settings. The good news is, I don't have to open up the fork to make those adjustments. Is the MRP ramp control worth it? The jury's still out on that one. But so far it looks promising. If you found this video helpful or entertaining, please give it a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button. I'll report back as I get more miles on this update. Hope you enjoyed this leg of my journey. Thanks for watching.